Chinoy TV is brought to you by Oishi. Fantasy XO. Tonight on Chinoy TV, meet the man behind the success of Sterling Paper Products. Indulge in the newest dessert craze around the metro. Get to know more about the Zen Institute's skincare breakthroughs. And of course, check out the latest happenings in the Chinese Filipino community. I'm Janina Chan, Washi Tai Shiren, and this is Chinoy TV, Feihua Dian Shi Tai. The vision must be followed by the venture. Although this man is already successful in his field, he still continues to innovate and discover the unknown, making him hailed as the Bill Gates of hybrid rice. I grew up in an uh, ordinary family, you know. Maybe I have more unpleasant memories, unpleasant memories during my childhood days because I was always being bullied. But then, of course, I have a good mother, you know, my mentor, my mother, who uh, will always tell uh, his stories of Chinese, you know, uh, great men, you know. That makes me what I am today. My name is uh, Henry Lim Bun Leong. I'm the chairman and CEO of the Sterling Paper Group of Companies, and this is my profile. After we came out the best designs, the next thing is that when they open the cover notebook, so we make sure that the quality of our paper, the substance, the opacity, the smoothness, and the whiteness, we have always benchmarked for that one. And there would be no crooked line in our notebook. And we make sure that everybody will be satisfied with the notebook, even with the caliper of the cover. The next thing is that when you have a good design and a good quality, you go out to the market and you try to see what's the highest price notebook that you need the price even a little bit higher than them. So, you know, that's product leadership. After product leadership, of course, you have to have what? Customer intimacy. You have to have a good uh, relationship with your customer. You know, in 1976, I went to J. Walter Thompson with two million pesos during that time. I was asking J. Walter Thompson, that's the top advertising company in the Philippines during that time. I said, I want to try media advertising. I want on my notebooks, on my photo albums, on my letter sets. I want the radio, I want TV, I want print ads. Other multinational companies are, who are charging hundreds of millions of pesos. And this guy, that's only two million he wants <laughs> advertising on Try Media. No? You know, but he accepted my offer and we were able to go try media. We are the most diversified companies in the Philippines, if that's according to uh, Senator Frank Grillon. From paper, products, and then of course we branch out into retailing. We have call centers also. But then, you know, everything sometimes very providential. I started in 97, 98, and that was a financial crisis that hit the Philippines. I pumped in for the four or five years that we were in IB drives, our research and this technology, R&D and development. We spent a loss to half a billion pesos. And then I met an accident in 2000, November 17. Yeah, I lost my mother, who was sitting on my left side. I lost my younger brother, Willie, who was sitting on my right side. The driver died the next day. I was seriously injured. I had five broken ribs. But two months after the accident, we came out with the first tropical hybrid drives varieties and I call it SL8. SL is an initial of my father, you know, so everybody, everything is so providential, and I think my mother is somewhere up there also, you know, uh, looking upon us. The barrier of entry to hybrid drive is very, very difficult. You know that all of my competitors are all multinational companies. A lot of people, you know, even the Chinese media, is saying that there was one magazine that said I'm the father of hybrid rice of the Philippines. Don't even want to be called that. No. What I want is to be called uh, farmers who like to wear suits. No. 
The legacy is that if you ask me, I want to see farmers being uh, highly respected, that they want to be the poorest of the poor. So I was talking to some government officials because the price of pala is so high, the price of rice is so high. But I said, if you look on the other side of the coin, the farmers are very happy. The farmers never had so much money in their pocket this time because when they are selling paddy uh, at what, 24, 25 pesos price, and uh, they are making 200 plus thousand pesos per hectare. But I challenged them, I said, look, the farmers in, uh, in Japan are driving a uh, line cruiser. That's what you should try to follow them. If the farmers become rich, the multiply effect is going to be tremendous. And if you look at Central Luzon, especially in the Basia, the inflation is very low, the GDP is very high. So why don't we just take a certain region and try to see how come the inflation is low and the GDP is high and how come the whole country is like that? Because uh, it's not balanced. Now, if they saw that the farmers are making a lot of money already, probably some of them will return back to the farm and try to start planting rice also because they think planting rice can really become a millionaire. So, you know, those, those are the things that somebody failed to see. Always have to follow a passion, but then again, I was saying that it's really product leadership, operational excellence customer intimacy and innovation. Sometimes it's also really gut feel. No? There's no formula for that one. Everything that you do, you should enjoy what you are doing. Unless you enjoy what you are doing, no, you'll always be miserable. And I'm always very positive. I mean positive on what you're doing. Be confident. Follow what Jack Ma said. The day after tomorrow is going to be pleasant. Right now it's going to be cruel. Or oh, tomorrow is going to be more cruel. But you have to uh, try to maintain up to uh, the, the next day, uh, day after tomorrow to be pleasant. But he said, and now people died already on the second day. <laughs> be positive, tomorrow will always be better than today. I would always like to be a bridge between China and the Philippines. I'm proud to be a Chinese Filipino, and I'm also proud that I have Chinese heritage. And because of that, I was able to bring the technology of hybrid rice out of the Philippines. And because of that, I learned to speak Mandarin about Chinese heritage. And I was able to befriend the national treasure of China. I'm proud to be a Chinoy. I'm very happy that the Chinoy can also contribute to the growth of the Philippines economy, and I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to the younger Chinoy trying to uh, do what we are doing right now. My name is uh, Henry Lim Bun Leong. My Chinese is called Lin Yi Ching. I'm the chairman and CEO of the Sterling Paper Group of Companies, and this is my profile. This growth by one Ida Wands is in charge of the cellular new generation. Chinoy TV is brought to you by Tennessee XO West Avenue Suites Blue Water Day Spa Oishi Nation for Complete Waterline UPVC Philippine Valve Manufacturing Company Albert Abaya Philippine Jinjiang Association Macron Trading Gyokyan Garcia BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific. The Zen Institute is the leading skincare clinic which pioneered the facial contouring and platelet rich plasma procedure. This helps improve the proportion of the face and all the facial features. The strength of the Zen Institute is a non surgical facial contouring, and with this program, we use the latest innovation, which is the Resonax. Mr. Chinatown 2018, Moises Lim Yuan had the opportunity to try the amazing procedure. It's actually okay. Basically, I can feel the heat when they rub it in my skin, in my face, and I think that's the thing that helps burn the fat. So facial contouring targets specific areas. It's the whole face that gets slim, but there are some parts that you feel that are kind of chubby, 
So this eliminates that factor because you can target that specific area. I'll definitely recommend it to my friends, especially the guys, because not only girls are the ones that are specific with their skin, but I know lots of guys who are who really take good care of their skin. The good thing about Zen Institute is that you'll only be attended by their therapists, but before every program, you'll be having a consultation with their doctors as well. And of course, the latest in stem cell technology, which is the platelet-rich plasma. Now, how do we do this platelet-rich plasma? We usually extract blood, we spin that blood, and we harvest the so-called platelet. And it is in this platelet where growth hormone actually live. And this growth hormone are the ones that's in charge of the cellular regeneration. Platelet-rich plasma has been extensively used in various clinical settings such as heart surgery, sports medicine, and wound care. It has been proven safe and effective, especially with skin regeneration. PRP or platelet-rich plasma is actually indicated under the eye, nasolabial, and all those deep wrinkles. And what it does is once it's injected underneath that skin, it initiates cellular regeneration. And when it does, definitely you'd look fresh. The Zen Institute is really the go-to place for facial contouring and PRP procedure because of their extensive experience and continuous development. The competitive edge of the Zen Institute when it comes to platelet-rich plasma is number one. We've been doing this since more than 10 years already. And the way we introduce this stem cell or this platelet-rich plasma is directly into that underneath layer of that skin to make sure that the cell that we initiate really does the cellular regrowth. Come and visit the Zen Institute and try the latest technology in stem cell which is called platelet-rich plasma and the non-invasive facial contouring by the Zen Institute. For more information about the Zen Institute, its services and branches, visit www.thezeninstitute.com. Chinoy TV is brought to you by Oishi Manila Bulletin Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation Japan Parts Trading Center Distributor of Koyo Automotive and Industrial Bearings Megatech Fine Invitations Mayor Photo, Professional Photo and Video Equipment Federation of Electrical and Electronic Suppliers and Manufacturers of the Philippines Incorporated Nang Family Chua Beng Teng The Zen Institute Nutraceutical Foods Corporation Community 晋江市永和镇镇长陈荣松新界理事长林清苑发表就职演说时提到
宾让德乌市宗亲总会庆祝一百一十周年大会，于十月二十一日中午在菲律宾巴隆预计市万豪大酒店大会议厅隆重举行。该会荣誉会长吴聪满担任大会主讲人，并向该会捐献一千万菲币。总联主席朱培荣、商总理事长黄炎荣、中国大陆代表吴文富、台湾代表吴峰山、香港代表吴天赐、世界智德总会代表吴锡明等先后致辞。来自中国大陆、台湾、香港以及世界各地的无视宗亲，一同云集菲律宾马尼拉，共襄盛举，同促宗谊。菲律宾让德无视宗亲会理事长吴俊明担任大会主席，并在致辞中提到，自1908年成立以来，该会已步入110周年，始终秉承着敦亲睦足、促进团结、为族亲谋福利、为公益慷慨捐献、守望相助。济苦扶贫，受到了各方面的普遍赞誉，并由执行理事长吴启发致谢词，名誉理事长吴辉汉介绍主讲人，副理事长吴荣南介绍贵宾，司仪由王志伟先生和飞华电视台李敏玲女士共同担任。马尼拉慈航禅寺，梅州妈祖金身，在近三千名信众的护驾下，于十月二十日从祖庙起驾，经厦门乘坐游轮赴菲律宾巡安，并于二十二日上午十时顺利抵达菲律宾首都马尼拉。与此同时，还受到了菲律宾前总统、马尼拉市市长 Joseph a r a b Estrada 等政府高官、中国驻菲大使馆王晓东领事、主办方马尼拉慈航禅寺董事会全体董事、华社知名人士。社团领导和诸位信众的热烈欢迎，正式展开寻安菲律宾及公益慈善、妈祖文化交流活动。主办单位在码头举行了隆重的欢迎仪式。马尼拉市长、莆田市政协主席林庆生、梅州妈祖祖庙董事会林金赞董事先后发表讲话，并互赠礼物留作纪念。欢迎仪式后，数千人的寻安队伍声势浩大，从马尼拉南码头至中国城 Plaza San Lorenzo Ruiz。花园口将近四公里路程，锣鼓喧天，鞭炮声震耳欲聋。舞龙舞狮、中西乐队、花车彩旗以及菲律宾土风舞阿迪亚蒂汉队遍布全城，吸引了当地非华民众的围观和欢呼，场面热烈，盛况空前。巡安队伍由中午十二时抵达花园口，妈祖金身临时行宫，随即举行安坐仪式。顿时，数千信众一拥而上，争先恐后地为妈祖上香朝拜。当晚，由主办单位菲律宾慈航禅寺、菲律宾友好基金会等单位，共邀数千名妈祖信众以及各界嘉宾，在闽氏黎沙花园大酒店举行大型联欢晚会。菲律宾国会众议员 Sir f o n e d o 菲华商联总会理事长黄年荣，菲宋庆龄基金会创会会长陈祖昌，菲华各界联合会主席蔡志和。中国商会会长洪吉祥、校友联主席王来法等先后致辞祝贺。大会主席菲律宾慈航禅寺董事长洪忠言在致辞中提到，妈祖金身来菲律宾巡安，是以妈祖下南洋、重走丝绸路为主题，传播妈祖文化，希望妈祖巡安能进一步促进非中两国人民关系。创会会长施天乙随后发表致辞。由执行副董事长施碧昌致谢词。妈祖金身由二十二日一时安坐于花园口，临时行宫，至二十三日早上八时移驾黎沙公园七里洛检阅台期间，在世青会菲律宾分会会长、妈祖巡安菲律宾筹委会秘书长王荣忠的发动和指挥下，六十多位该会会员轮流值守看护妈祖金身，维持秩序，并提供点心食品给协助维安警察和苗龙牙人员。慈航城市创办人杨端真女士。
it gives us the glaze and normalized um, texture that you see with our toy. Chinoy TV is brought to you by Oishi Australia Harvest Oats Nation for Complete Waterline UPVC Philippine Valve Manufacturing Company Mayor Photo Professional Photo and Video Equipment Macron Trading Yokian Garcia Nutraceutical Foods Corporation BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific. If you have a sweet tooth and if you're always on the lookout for the best desserts out there, well, we are here to experience just that the latest dessert craze, which is baked tea tart, fresh from Hokkaido, Japan. So Usually, whenever we visit Tokyo, everybody wants bake. Like mm -hmm. even us, it's our favorite uh, dessert. Whenever we visit, not just Tokyo but Japan. Okay. So every time we're there, our friends, our family would always bug us to mm -hmm. buy some and bring it back yes. home. One of those trips, we just decided, hey, maybe we can try our luck and bring it here. So for you personally, what do you love the most about baked cheese tart and how it tastes? I mean, what's the best seller that you have here? It's a classic cheese tart. Yeah, the best seller would be the classic. Uh, it's the original cheese tart. Mm -hmm. So you can actually enjoy it in four different ways. Oh wow, four? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, so it's actually very fun. So okay. you can enjoy it fresh. Mm -hmm. So you get this gooey, cheesy texture. Mm -hmm. And you can enjoy it in room temperature. Okay. So you get a more firmer texture okay. out of it. And um, third is chilled. Mm -hmm. It will taste like cheesecake. And lastly is um, frozen. frozen. It will taste like ice cream sandwich. So what makes baked cheese tart um, different from everyone else? First of all, um, this is actually the original brand that started the cheese tart uh, craze. craze. Yeah. Okay. So um, apart from that, all of our ingredients, everything including the cheese tarts itself are from Hokkaido, Japan. Um, secondly, um, you have a lot of ways to enjoy it. Okay. So. Sometimes you want it uh, cold, sometimes you want it uh, frozen, mm -hmm. it depends. Okay. So I think each uh, type would have a different uh, note and texture, yes. which I really love about it. Mm -hmm. Lastly, of course, we always uh, bake all our batches freshly every day mm -hmm. in, in store. Okay. So you, we can guarantee that everything is baked daily here in store. Okay. So now we're gonna have like a mini 101 class on how to make cheese tarts, right? Mm -hmm. So usually for here in bake, this already comes pre-prepared, right? Uh, yes, so okay. everything is from Japan and, nice. and uh, Hokkaido, Japan Hokkaido. For, um, for us to ensure nice. the quality and consistency. Okay, cool. So this is how we do it. I'll show you. So put it here, it's very simple. And just brush it. Okay. So this egg wash, this isn't sweet. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, it gives us the glaze mm -hmm. and normalized um, texture that you see with the Ooh, nice. Yeah. It's going yeah, to you be can try. sent in the oven. So how many batches do you do in one go? So the oven can take around three trays per go. Okay. So, so three of yeah, these. Yeah. Three trays. Okay. So now I'm finally going to try out their classic cheese tart over here and right here the limited edition lemon cheese tart with honey. Not too big, not too small, and one bite. Mm. It's a really soft mousse texture and I love how it complements the crust or the base of the tart. So yeah, it's really a great treat to have, I think any time of the day even. Good for breakfast, I don't know, maybe. Next is the limited edition flavor, which is the lemon cheese tart with honey. Hmm. 
Wow. This one has a really surprising flavor of sweet and sour, but the good kind. Really zesty, really tangy, and the honey is glazed on top right here, together with the egg wash. So yeah, all together. I think I like this more than the original one actually, just because it's a bit more surprising and really refreshing. Join us again next week as we uncover fresh new stories and check out the best food destinations around the metro. I'm Janina Chan, I'm Tsai Shiren, and this is Chinoy TV, Feihua Dianshi Tai. Chinoy TV is brought to you by Oishi.